Good morning, learners. So today we are going to study about linear inequalities. This examples here are all lines. If you are going to plot them, they are all lines. Remember that when you have an equation that is with x or with y or with x and y, if you are going to plot these equations, we will form a straight line. Now, you should know how to plot a straight line already. And you have, maybe you have studied already the y equals mx plus c, the slope-intercept form. Okay, we'll have first the horizontal line and the vertical lines here. And then we proceed to the lines that are slanting to the right and slanting to the left. And we have that one, expect that we have x and y in our equation. So, let's have number one. If that one is x, 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 we have a vertical line. If we have y only, y, we have a horizontal line. For y with x, it's either slanting to the right or slanting to the left. We'll have that one later. So this one, again we have the less than, this one is less than or equal to. So what's the difference between the less than and the less than or equal to? The difference is that when we plot this one, we have a dotted line. And this one is a visible line, the whole line. Okay, so we have already this x and y. This is the y-axis. Okay, x, y, x, y. If you have an x here, and you have a number there, you find these two on the x axis so on the x-axis where is the two the two is here here now we cannot draw a horizontal here because that is on the x if you are going to draw that one what about if this one's x is equal to one so we are going to draw again the same thing no so it is not horizontal but we have to find the two from the x so this was the x-axis after finding the 2 here, remember I did not put the negative 1 here. Negative 2, negative 3 here on the left. That is positive 1. That one is negative 1 going down. We are only concerned with the positive here. Or positive 2 on the x-axis. Then we draw the line. So if you are going to draw the line, what should be the line? It should be a dotted line. So dotted means we have to draw this dotted line okay then we shade all the values of x that are true so we which side of this dotted line are the values of x located true so we're not going to test anymore okay you can test but we are not going to test anymore this one's less means less is going to the left more is going to the right or greater so here we shade everything here here okay that's how to shade because we are going to combine two or three linear inequalities and then we will shade the wanted region or the unwanted region okay number two here we locate again the 2 on the x. Where is that one? Here again, the same thing. But this time, it has an equal here. Less than or equal to. So, we need a visible line here. Vertical. So, we need a vertical line. And that is not dotted anymore. It's visible. Then, we shade where? X is small. So, small is going to the left. So, we shade here. Okay. This one. Mm -hmm. That's how to shade. Okay, number three. Okay, x. We we'll locate negative two on an x. So this one's the x. Where's the negative two? The negative two is here. And then 
What should be the line? Is that dotted or visible? That one should be visible because this one has an equal dated down or equal to. So we draw a vertical line here on the two here. It's up to you. That's a line. And now x is greater than means greater is going to the right. Small. So we shade this one here. Okay. That one. All right. Number four. Locate x negative 2 on the x. Where's the x? x. Locate the negative 2. The negative 2 is still here. Okay. Now, this one is equals and equals. Therefore, that is visible. So, we draw the vertical line here. Okay. But this time, the x is less, smaller. So, it is smaller, it goes to the left. So, we have this one. Okay. Now let's have the y. When you say the y, we locate our number here on the y axis. This is the y axis because that is y. Now if that is y, you cannot draw the line as vertical because everything will be vertical. So it should be horizontal. This one is vertical, this one will be horizontal. So where is the negative 2? This one is negative 2 here. That's positive 1 going up, that is the origin. And the negative 2 is here. Okay. Then we draw our line. What kind of line? So that is less than only. So that is a dotted line. So we draw the dotted line here. Means that negative 2 is not included there in the value. Okay. Then we shade. Where are we going to shade? Shade where? It is less than means it's going down so we're not going to shade up we're going to shade down so we got the shade here so the shaded one means these are the values of our y all here nothing there negative two also is not included okay number six we have y less than or equal to negative 2. So we locate negative 2 on the y-axis. Where's the y-axis? Here. Where's the negative 2? In here. So we're going to draw a line. What kind of line? Okay. It's with equals. It's visible. Okay. So we draw a visible line here. Okay. That is our line. It's visible. Meaning the negative 2 is included. Then we shade. Less. Y is less. If y is less then this still going down. Okay. But now the value negative 2 is included in our value. We're not going to discuss anymore the interval notation. If you have interval notation here, so what will you do? If you are going to write, but that is another topic. So we have here the negative. If you are going to write that one in interval, we have negative alpha. Here going there up to the 2 here, but the 2 is not included because that's dotted and this one is inclusive. Okay, if you are going to write this one in interval notation, we start from here because it's going there. We start from the negative infinity, negative infinity, and go, we go through the right one, which is 2 here. But 2 is included, therefore included means it's a bracket there. Now this one is going there, so we start from left to right. So we start on the negative 2. So we start with a negative 2 here. Is negative 2 included? Yes. So we need like that. A bracket here and then goes to up to the positive infinity. But it is always a parenthesis, only a parent. Number four, we have negative two. We can see here that it goes to the negative infinity on the left. So here, we have here negative, start from the left, which is negative infinity. And they go to negative two. And this one, the negative two is included because of this one. So we put a uh, square bracket close, square bracket there, meaning it's inclusive and negative 2 is included. In here, 
So we can write here, oh, we start from the bottom, which is negative infinity and this positive infinity for y. So we have negative infinity down, okay, negative infinity, and it goes, this is the value of y, y element of y, up to negative 2, but negative 2 is not included, inclusive. For y here, it's also going down. So down first is the negative infinity. It goes to the 2 here. Stops there, but the 2 is included. Okay, so this are the interval notation. But when we are doing linear regions of linear inequalities, when we have two or more, in which we are going to find the values with uh, the values of this two, you don't need this one anymore. Or only your shade and then the intersection of the shaded portion will be true for all the values of our linear inequalities.